So as you can see, I'm kitted out well for a bit of urban street photography. Try to keep it discreet. Got my walking pants on, my walking top on, big backpack. But I feel comfortable. I feel comfortable in the environment. It's a bank holiday Monday and I'm back in Bradford. And I'm going to talk to you about my plans for urban photography. Three collections in mind, I'll go through them in details in a bit. But I also want to start a project and that's documenting Bradford. I want to photograph the key landmarks, the, the character of the city in all its entirety, really. I don't know how long this project's going to um, go on for, but I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. So that's one landmark. Ice skating ring. But I don't want to... don't just show a picture of that, I want to have some foreground interest. So bring some character into it. I'll tell you what I've been inspired by. I've been reading a book by Joel Meyerovich. I've got that pronunciation right. And he's done a series on the Empire State Building where each image shows, whether it be in the background, the Empire State. And that's what I'm looking for. I mean, look, we turn around here, we've got the Alhambra. Some old queen there. And I'm up near the, well, going up there's the university area. Down there. Got City Square, City Hall, clock. So that's exactly what I, I want to do. But portray it in a, an artistic way or get as much artistry out of the images as possible. Right, so sorted. Camera's on the strap, connected to some peak design clips. It seems to work so far. I've got a few comments about the type of camera. Yeah, it's an expensive setup, I know. The R6. But it's still quite small. I don't really want to add in any, any further expenses with yep. the microphone. Okay, so. Quick talk about what I've learnt so far. Obviously, this is only my third video, third urban photography session. And yeah, I've made a few mistakes. Um, I've had my landscape photography head on. Main mistake, uh, which I noticed when I got the images back from my second session, was wrong shutter speed. Too slow shutter speed. And the thing is with urban photography, because it's, it's a, a forever moving environment, you've got to be alert with these moments in time to capture them quickly. They don't really work when your camera's set at one fiftieth of a second. There's a couple of images from the last session where it did work, where it included a bit of movement. Um, but, yeah, so for that reason, I've set the camera up with a couple of customised um, options. Rather than manual, I've gone with aperture priority. So that will allow the uh, camera to set the shutter speed. Because I want a fast shutter speed, I've boosted the ISO right to 800, which is still good. I mean, it's a good sense of this. Limited noise anyway, but with urban street stuff, you can get away with it more. And that bit of grittiness. So yeah, aperture as well. Again, because I want as much, much of the environment in the scene in sharp as possible. I'll talk to you about the occasion when I want to include these customers, but I've gone for f11 and um, I've gone for continuous shooting speed as well. I mean, this can shoot up to what 20 frames per second, non-mechanical. Um, focusing as well, rather than go for one shot, I've gone for servo. This option is for when I get into the candid 
mode, this proper street photography when again in amongst the crowd. That should be interesting. So I featured this little area in the beginning of my second vlog. I just love the structure. That morning though, we had some nice side lights and I got that. But I might include that image in the uh, project. I'm just gonna see if there's any other options. There's a nice circle here. But yeah, okay, so. I think I need direction in this new style of photography because if I didn't I'd probably end up just walking around in a circle not really know what I'm doing shooting anything so I've divided it into three collections urban life which is basically composed images so composed shots using the correct balance patterns usual stuff but I want people in the scene but i want to make sure that those people are anonymous don't want to recognize them so either a profile or a shadow um, each image is going to be black and white and cropped at one one square as well so that's one collection that's actually on my website as we speak that's called urban life second uh, collection is called Distance. Now distance is pretty much same as collection one urban life, but I want to incorporate wide open the aperture open up the aperture really wide open so a large aperture which will throw the background out of focus. It's a bit of artistry. But that is going to be colour. And I'll probably crop to two to three on that. So that's another option. Option three and option three I haven't collection three I haven't really got into yet. That's when the fun and games starts. I'm not probably going to do that in Bradford, but that involves proper street photography, close-ups of people where I uh, include the character, the moments in time, like the the gestures. Um, also juxtapositions where there's two conflicted elements in, in the scene. That's going to be called Candid. I want to incorporate a bit of humour uh, in that. Such as uh, examples of you look at a billboard, it suggests something, I, 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 I add the for a shampoo and a, a bold man walks into this scene, something along those lines anyway. But yeah, that's option one, customised option one, that's what I'm set up for that, where really got to be on the guard for that. One thing I didn't mention as I line up this composition, the statue there, which is another key point in Bradford. Wishing you it. Well, I should really. No, we'll find that out in a minute. The one thing I didn't uh, mention is the last couple of collections are going to be colour. Because I feel if I'd leave colour out in urban photography, I'm not doing myself any favours. I think urban scene, there's a lot more opportunities for colour, especially compared to the fells. Uh, basically it's yellows, greens and blues, but with this you've got man-made structures. I mean, the reason this image has caught my eye is the red pillar box. It's contrasting nice with these trees, believe it or not. Silver birch. And you've got a nice leading line, this pipe. So colours, nice use of colours. You've got some nice greens, yellows, blues. And also because you can play with it with that repetition, the consistency helps with the compositions. So yeah, there we go. Let's go and see who this fella is. Whoops, I feel slightly embarrassed. It's JB Priestley, of course. <clears throat> anyway, we get a shot with him. What I mean. So J.B. Priestley got this science the media museum, the ice skating ring as well in the background. This could be quite an interesting shot. So all this will be good to record, as I said before, to document it, look back in history because it's changed. I mean, 
I mentioned it before, Bradford has changed massively in the last 34 years. 34 years. Having said that, JB Priestley hasn't, ice skating ring hasn't, and the Science and Media Museum hasn't. <laughs> Never mind. Right. So this is a library area, which I'm heading up now. It's quite interesting. Look, natural leading lines. There we go. A figure there as well. And I've talked about directions and I've talked about where I'm heading. Today's session is just introduce you to those different collections and projects. I'll probably incorporate most of them today. But it's just about having fun, isn't it, really? You see a composition, which I naturally do. I'm going to shoot it. So I've actually focused on this here. And that's the main structure leading you right up and you get nice balance of the trees here. Building on the right hand side. Right, oh, opportunity here. There we go. Now, I'm not checking for highlights because this style of photography is not as important. Allow them to get blown out and that's more character, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, obviously, I've got option to uh, expose your compensate, dial it down. So look at this, this is the library, what an interesting moment. Look at that palm tree, I said it's a palm tree, I don't know where it is, a palmish tree. Look at that, that's a lovely composition there, look at it. Worth a shot, let's give a bit of separation to the tree. Oh yeah, yeah. This can work, it's nice. Those lines. Do I include the Sophia plants? Blue? Right. This looks a lot. Not too concerned about um, converging lines because I'm not going to avoid that. As best as possible, though. And this structure here, of art design here, which is called Baby of the North. This is one of the first things you see as you're coming down into the town centre. So I like to get that in. Again, try to get it in. Nice bit of separation and balance. Let's have a look. One common feature that I want to do, including these urban street uh, vlogs, is the point of view, the wide angle, uh, first person view. I want to see, I want to show you what I'm looking at. So yeah, super wide this time, it didn't quite work out last time, it wasn't wide enough. So yeah, attach the GoPro to this, attach this to the strap, and there we go. Um, I'm feeling a lot more confident, I'll be honest. The biggest test is yet to come, and that's with the Candid collection, the more uh, close-up of people, the Candid um, environment showing it, a bit of sense of humour, looking at gestures, facial expressions, things like that, um, getting up close. I'm not going to get that here, I don't think, in Bradford, it just doesn't have the crowds. So I'm looking at uh, Leeds, which isn't too far away from here. Leeds City Centre, probably a busy Saturday afternoon. And also I've got plans to visit Manchester as well with a couple of pals. See how that goes. So there, yeah, that'll be the test, but I'm looking forward to that. I'm quite cheeky, I'm quite confident in a way. But once I get a hang of it, it should be good fun. Right, let's get you clips on here. I'm gonna venture now down towards City Hall. Super wide. Interesting. Okay, so. Get it back on, set up. And off we go. Oh, Subway. Oh, dare he do it. Subways are interesting themselves, aren't they, to be honest? Oh dear, right, I'm going in. I'm going to go, right, straight across. Let's go. 
Well, I'll go out there safe, albeit I took wrong option. Never mind, right, I'm heading up towards Jacob's Well. This is that's it, all. That's the old, that's the old magistrate's court. This is City Hall, there's something going on here. Typical. Spawn of view. Just looking at a few characters hanging around here. These guys, look what they're doing, bin men look like, don't they? In orange attire. Might be an option. I don't really want to follow them around. Let's just hover around, never know. Approach to the top of Godwin Street, come out of the city centre. <laughs> Did you notice that? Four of them. The, uh, I don't know what they were, council workers. I've got a nice composition there. Moving around, got a bit of separation. Got the no entry signs in there as well. And then the questions what has he taken for us for? <laughs> so I moved on. Right, so. There in front of me is the old T.J. Hughes building. Probably Devon's. Let's see what we get from this. Well, the prominent building in Bradford City Centre, you've got uh, the Provident building. Let's just see if you can blow these lines here. I'm going to bring this video to a close here in Bradford. We have a mixed bag today, excluding the shallow depth of field distance collection. I haven't really touched on that, but more focus on the project, just getting the landmarks in of Bradford. Um, mainly ice skating rink. Play around with those. Oh, yeah, good. Good, all the same, on my first experience of. A little bit of confrontation, but pretty confident, to be honest. But yeah, but yeah, put in a situation where I was questioned whether I was taking photographs of them. Could have been a bit confrontational, but it was all right. First thing that came to my mind was denying it. And what I did, I just kept my camera to my eye and moved along, giving the impression that I wasn't photographing them, but the building behind them. But also back in mind was, well, I find you interesting. I find that group of, or your group that you're in, wearing your orange coats against that um, background, interesting. So I simply made an interesting video. Oh, fountain's just come on. I haven't put my camera away yet, but you never know, because you never know, there's always opportunities. Right, until next time, take good care of yourself, keep smiling, bye bye for now. Come on, good God. Make an effort. <laughs>